Nigerians, Buhari has done it again. You guys remember that general, General Deniyi, some few days ago that was on the Vera video lamenting that they had not been given the right weapons and the right intelligence report. Know that they were faced with over 15 gun trusts by Boko Haram terrorist group. Guess what? That general has just been removed. Video everything. Video everything. Yeah, our troops injured. Good morning, sir. General Denny. Sir, the soldiers are not running. The three battalions are standing and fighting, though we have casualties. The intelligence assessment concerning the Inbuki Triangle is very wrong, sir. Since yesterday, we have been met by very strong resistance, more than pockets of Boko Haram. This morning, from every flank, not less than 15 gun trucks are facing us. These people have fired more than 100 RPG at us and have fired several motors at us. And they have, and they have fired more than 100, 100 uh, RPGs and so many motors on us. This is the true situation, sir. I'm here on the ground. This is General Buba here, sir. No any general is running or not leading the men. Sir, look at this soldier. They are not running away. Neither is any of them afraid. We are good to go. We are good to go, but here, now these things are working against us. Yes. Thank you, sir. So you can see what we'll be talking about. So it is very obvious that President Mohamed Buhari and this president administration, they truly know what is going on. They are not ready to put an end to insurgency to Boko Haram terrorist activities in Nigeria. President Buhari, you are the person that appointed the chief of army staff. So you cannot exonerate yourself from this. That you are not informed before they carry out that action, removing General Adeniyi because he came out to cry to the Nigerian public and to the world that they are not being given the right weapons. So you want our Nigerian soldiers to keep dying in silence in the hands of Boko Haram terrorist group when they are not being given the proper weapon. General Adeniyi, I will tell you, if you can see this message, just go and celebrate. You don't know what God has done for you. Because that was a death mission that they sent you guys, like a suicide mission. Because they cannot be sending you guys to the battlefield without the proper weapon and the proper intelligence report. And because you not cried out, they not moved you out of that place. Just go and celebrate. General Denny, you have done well for speaking out. You guys cannot keep dying in silence. You guys are human beings just like every one of us. I truly commend your effort and Nigerians will remember you as a man of integrity. And to President Mohamed Buhari, I truly don't know what you stand to gain. If you are planning to take Nigeria to your grave, where you are going to is closer than where you are coming from. At this stage of your life, you are not supposed to be caught in all of this trying to play politics with the lives of Nigeria. You want all Nigerians to be dead before you'll be happy. Over 17 Nigerian soldiers, they were killed so few days ago. And you did not say anything about it. You were not moved. We are not talking about thousands of innocent Nigerians that has lost their lives. They have lost their loved ones to these Boko Haram activities. And President Mohamed Buhari, you guys will come out to tell us that you have technically defeated Boko Haram. And a general at the battlefront came out to tell Nigeria that you have not been given the proper weapons. You guys now have to remove him because you people saw it as an offense that he was not supposed to cry out. They should just keep dying in silence without crying out. So this is the stage we are now in Nigeria. I weep. So you guys are happy that our soldiers, that they are being killed by Boko Haram terrorists group. You guys are happy about it. It's very obvious that you guys have a hand in this. It is very clear. Nigerians, what other proof do we need that President Mohamed Buhari have a hand? He cannot exonerate himself from Boko Haram activities. If a general came out to say we don't have the proper weapons, look at what we have been confronted with. 15 gold trucks that they were confronted with 
with Boko Haram terrorist group. And now you have to remove that general because it came out of threat to the Nigeria public. Then it is very obvious that President Mohamed Buhari have a hand in the activities of Boko Haram terrorist group. And that is why he's planning to recruit them into the Nigeria military. And that is why they are planning to integrate them into the Nigeria society, calling them repentant Boko Haram members. I laugh. President Mohamed Buhari, I truly don't know what you stand to gain. I truly don't know. Maybe, like I said, you are planning to take Nigeria to your grave because where you are going to is closer than where you are coming from.